Okay, hopefully the audio will be better on this one. I adjusted the audio settings with the microphone settings a little bit. So I'm just going to finish straightening this. And then I'm going to sand it on the belt sander. If there's one tool that I can't live without, it's the uh, belt sander. This one's just about worn out. I'll probably have to buy another one this year sometime. And I'm just sighting down the uh, shaft. bending where I need to. You can see how flexible that chute is. When you get used to uh, knowing what you can get away with, but if you start hearing some cracking, you're bending it too far. Obviously. Now it's had a chance to cool down between this straightening and the, the pre-straightening and that helps because a lot of these bends go in different directions if you try to straighten the whole thing right away or all at once the first time around you probably won't be able to do it because the bends are they're they're complex they bend the shoot bends in various directions So I'm just sighting down, looking where I need to bend it. It's pretty close right now. I think I need to bend it right here a little bit. And a little bit down there. And while you're doing this, some of the bends that you had straightened out earlier, you, you may uh, accidentally re-bend it back. So just work with it. Uh, just work with it around and uh, until you get it as straight as you can. It's not going to be perfectly straight, and a lot of those knots are not going to be flush with the... Uh, with the shaft, but we'll take care of that in the sanding. Okay, that's good enough.
going to turn on the sander. Take off the gloves. You don't want to wear gloves around rotating equipment. Sand the nodes down or these knots down first. in the way there. Okay, I've sanded down the, uh, the knots. You can see how it's bending again because of the heat from the sanding. I just hand straighten at this point.
Okay. Okay, you can tweak it at this point and get those final little bends out of there. But uh, I let it cool down for a little while first. Uh, maybe even leave it overnight before I try to re-straighten again. Because there was a severe bend in there. And this wood has some memory. So by tomorrow it may be curved again. A little bit. And you just use heat to take that out again. But that's pretty much the basic steps. And uh, it has a natural taper to it. This end is smaller than this end. There you go.